this 26 Sports and CCTV High School Basketball presentation is presented by Cadillac Casting Incorporated. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, it is the beginning of the second quarter. Manistee has a one-point lead. Um, and, and, Mac, what do you think? The first offensive sets for Cadillac, we've had a few missed shots. Yeah, I think both teams right now would be a little disappointed. Uh, <coughs> both teams have turned the ball over too much. Yep. And then both teams have not capitalized on those turnovers on the offensive end. So I think they would both, uh, you know, like to see some better scoring. Cadillac, of course, once again, just did not come out shooting again tonight. And um, I think this many to look look for uh, as the rest of the season kind of moves along is getting on the board early and not yeah. having to fight so hard late. <coughs> missed some easy ones, right? We missed a few uh, few layups, uh, but still 10-11. Almost a wash the first quarter. Let's mm -hmm. let's let's get on and play now. Hopefully uh, Cadillac can put together a second quarter like they get against Traverse City Central with uh, 21 points. I think it's, uh, it's, it's not very uncommon you watch these high school games. A lot of these kids come out a little tight, a little nervous. Yep. And yep. it's... it's 11-10, I, I would say most nights you're looking at teams playing that way in the first quarter. Yeah, number 22 for Manistee. Sandstead hits a two-point shot there. Manistee's going to take a 13-10 to 10 lead. Keegan Brooks comes down and right back at it, and he uh, hits a two-pointer from the baseline. Good jump shot by Keegan. That's a tough shot, hand in his face. Cadillac in a little half-court trap here. Twenty-two Sands that yeah, good little left-handed guard. Yeah, dribbles in, finds an opening, and and get, ends up scoring. He has six now. Keegan Brooks to uh, Cooper Benson finds Vinny Jenema at the top of the key, back to Benson. Penetration and good play by Kohani Shot to by Jacob. Yeah, and Cooper needs to find him on that pass. He was open, but good job by finding it, getting the rebound, putting it back in. You know, the biggest thing he did there is he didn't really bring it down. He kept it above his head and scored. I think, you know, a, a big night for Jacob Kohani. You know, really the defensive end uh, taking care of their big man. A uh, nice play by Maddox. But with Jacob just taking care of the other team's big man, uh, setting some great screens and then hitting yep. the boards. Yep. But then when he gets his chance to score, uh, put the ball in the basket. Good, good rebound there by Vinny Genema, and he's going to pick up a quick foul on number 22, Jack Sandstedt. <clears throat> you know, the, the steal by Maddox there is going to be kind of what Cadillac has to really capitalize on against this team. If if you let a Manistee team hang around the uh, end of the fourth quarter and it's a single-digit lead, it's going to be a dogfight. So we, Keegan Brooks, go ahead, coach. We had Charlie Runstam check in, and uh, Mickelson back in the game as well for the Vikings. It's good to see uh, Charlie getting in early here tonight. So Keegan Brooks, top of the key, calls out the offensive set to Vinny Genema on the left. Looks at the cutters, finds Keegan open, and there's one that felt a little better. So good shot, a three-pointer by Keegan. Yeah, he's been really playing well as one of our senior leaders the last few games. He said those, you know, the five threes against Central the other night. Yeah. Um, I think he had uh, four the night the night before against Petoskey, too. So, and, they, and we look for that, right, as a senior, for him to come out here and play like that. Nice move by number 20, Keaton Connell. Nice uh, reverse layup for Manistee. Nice look. Nice job by Keegan. Once again, you talk about finding Jay Kohani on the low post. Good eyes by Keegan, and good reward for him as well. Uh, Manistee's going to go here with number 22, uh, Sandstedt, left-hander. Doing a nice job running the point guard for Manistee. To Harrigan on the wing. Nice cut by number 10. Good pick uh, up by Sarabia. Vinny. Good pick up by Vinny on the help side defense and rebound by Keegan. And Sarabia commits the foul for Manistee. So, you know, looking at uh, <coughs> both teams' offensive sets, they almost look the same. They got some cutters going through. Um, and... That should be a benefit. I don't know to who, but because they're they're practicing against those those offensive sense, they should know how to handle them. Charlie runs some gets the ball down in the corner, looks to skip it to Jake Kohani and gets a little too far underneath the basket. Mm -hmm. Cadillac hustling back, Manistee looking to push a little bit. 
Number 40, Gustad down in the corner. Finds Sarabia. Enters it into the post. And ends up falling short. Ball's out of bounds. Off Manistee, Cadillac ball. Mike Tipmaker's gonna check back in for the Vikings. Uh, give Keegan Brooks a little breather here in the second quarter. You know, it's probably a good substitution. Get him in. You don't want him to be too far out of the loop. And he's a he's a smart kid. Play with two fouls. Hopefully doesn't pick up a, a third one here. Well, as you mentioned, that being a smart player and playing with those fouls, something you need to learn to do, um, you know, as, as we get into the rest of the conference schedule and then in the districts. So let's play with two. Yeah. We, yep. you, know, you can't afford to always bring a guy out with two fouls. So, you know, how do you play with two? Yeah, and Tip being a being a starter, he's one of the leaders. He's a <clears throat> extremely good defender. And, uh, you know, how many times you look at the end of the game and say, oh, I should have probably played him. So Tip Baker has the ball, top of the key. It gets a high screen for Kohani over to Runstrom to Vinny Genema, drives baseline. Great move by Vinny, very athletic move there. Kind of split the defense and got in there. So Manistee comes down, they have the ball looking at almost like a 1-4 set, looking for uh, number 20, Connell on the baseline. Nice screen by oh. Harrigan. Yeah, very similar to what Kohani does on the other end. Yep, Kohani's gonna pick up a foul there. Uh, he got kind of his body rolling there, couldn't get it to stop. So with three minutes left about in the second quarter, Cadillac is up 23 to 17. And Andrew Giddens is checking in the game for Cadillac. Uh, 24, Gunther and 32 uh, Montek checking back in for the Chippewas. So Cooper Benson uh, guarding 22. Ball swings over to Sarabia. Sarabia tries to drive on Tip Baker. Back to Gunther, back to Dustat. And great job there by Charlie Runstrom, forcing him to the baseline but not giving it up. Cadillac's playing pretty good man-to-man -man defense here. Gunther at the top with the ball, looks to reset. Kicks it over to Sarabia, Sarabia on the cutter. And. Good job by Giddens there on the yeah. rebound, just checking in. Uh, really good jumper as well, one of, those, uh, one of those kids that we have that can really get up in the air. You know, he does the high jump and track and, and comes down and he actually misses a shot here, but one of those shots he caught in rhythm and just shot, and that's what you like to have off your bench, somebody that doesn't hesitate and is confident enough to, to shoot it. Yeah, take those shots when you're open. Yep, Sandstead here driving in, kicking it out to Sarabia, who hits a three. He's talking about catching the ball in rhythm. Yeah, and that, that play right there was, was driven by Sandstead's penetration, forced his man to help side defense a little bit. Vinny Jenham at the top here finds Tip Baker wide open. Little mismatch there, but he can't connect. Manistee looking to run here. Sandstead. Sarabia at the oh, top of the key. And I thought he was looking for like another a, one. Looked like a good, uh, a good look there for him. We've talked before, Jason, about uh, you know about catching the ball and rhythm and shooting, but also the other part you mentioned by Sandstead, that nice pass right where he could catch that ball and be ready to shoot. It wasn't low or high. Yep. Um, and kind of a lost start. We look at these, these games today. These guys put the one handed ball in these guys. passes yeah. and things like that. But to put it where they can catch and shoot. Yep. So Tip Baker with a minute 20 left looks to set it up. He's going to penetrate to the right, kicks it out to Charlie Runs from back to Tip for the three. And it is in and out. Rebound, that, rebound by number 32, Montek. And he's going to get fouled by Runs from. One minute, nine seconds left. Cadillac has a 23 to 20 lead. Checking in is Aiden Raphael and Keegan Brooks. While we, uh, while we have a quick break here, let's mention our sponsors, Cadillac Castings, Cadillac Tire, Napa, Assist to Sell, and Pizza Plus. And thank you again to those sponsors for our 26 sports and CCTV. Uh, Keegan Brooks, nice steal, chance for an and one. Yeah, it's great for those uh, sponsors, Jason. You mentioned them just now, and uh, for them to help uh, 26 Sports and CCTV care of these games for the community. I know, I know, many nights um, 
I don't have a chance to go out and watch our, our local kids play hockey because I'm always in the gym with basketball. Yep. But it's nice to listen, listen to Jeff Castillo and uh, Bill Dooley carry those games and, and keep up with some of the kids that we know in other sports. Yeah, and speaking of hockey, uh, tomorrow night is going to be a, a broadcast of hockey, and then Thursday we are back with girls basketball. So um, thank you again to the sponsors. If you'd like to be part of that, uh, the phone number at the station is 577-1844. So Keegan makes his free throw, and Amanesty looks to run and kind of broke the press pretty easy. But Aiden Raphael on the great block shot finds Keegan Brooks over to Jake Roberts, who's checked in the game for three. Oh, that looked good, didn't it? <clears throat> that was a three-on-one, and Aiden Raphael sent it back the other way. <laughs> you, uh, you always hope that that's one they don't foul, but but he made a great play, you know, and that's a block shot that he, he gets after he blocks it, which is even better. So 20 seconds left. Manistee has the ball. Connell at top, guarded by Benson. Benson forces him to the left a little bit. He turns around back to the right, over to 24, Gunther, who misses the three. Cooper looking to run, finds Roberts. Roberts finds Raphael, one second left, gets it up, and it's good. Nice finish, nice pass by Roberts to find Aiden Great the Great job, great job. So um, we, are, we are headed to halftime, and Cadillac has a 28 to 20 lead. And uh, real quick, the, the sixth grade basketball, travel basketball team is gonna play at halftime here, but we'll take a quick break um, and be right back with you. <laughs> 